17. Well, well, well. 17. 17. There are 17. 17 pieces of gum Billy underneath Wick. this table, Welcome. Trevor. 17? 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Check it out. Check it out. Welcome to London Man fans. Uh, we got a great show for you tonight. Says uh, you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Richard T. Sin could not make it tonight because we were actually taping Monday instead of Tuesday, our normal day. Um, and special guests, yeah, Pat and Kevin from Rumble Radio, WXAV 88.3. So, and once they get out here, they'll give their uh, website or whatever for the internet. Uh, I, I, I got to say, I feel bad for them because they, they said that they've watched the show before. <laughs> and that's probably neat, you know, to catch the show every week or whatever. But then you finally come in here and you see, uh, you see what this place really is. It's just a table, just a wobbly table. They can barely hold all these magnificent transformers on it. Yeah. Hey, I, 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 I feel like wank, I got a quick question for you. It's, you know, a, it's about a foot and a half when I'm fully aroused, Trevor. No, what? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're Vincent Kennedy oh, McMahon yes? impersonation. Well, I, ha I happen to be going through some stuff, and if I can get that out here oh, no. for, you to, for you to do it. Oh, no. It I'm, be, I'm on the it spot. Would, it would be awesome. Why, what is this? Uh, hurry up. Hurry up. Bring it on out. Now, let's do it for real. All right. Uh, <laughs> Camera three, camera three. Oh, camera three. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm standing here with Trevor Blanchard. Trevor Blanchard, what about it tonight? You're facing off against George the Animal Steel. What about it? What George the Animal Steel. What about it? Whatever, man. Let's go. All right. Yes, I, got Trevor razor, I got a razor to shave his back. <laughs> Maybe tonight we're going to see Trevor Blanchard take it to George the Animal Steel. <laughs> hey, here's something for y'all. This is, and be on the lookout. I don't know, I don't know what the Nielsen ratings are for this on the mat shindig, but let me tell you something. They're about to go skyrocketing through the roof, and let me tell you why. Folks, this is the crate of power, and in this crate of power holds merely a third of my videotapes. You can hear them rattling and rumbling around. I keep them all organized, I keep them all, I have a book that tells you everything that's on every single stinking tape that I own. And you know what? From now on, starting next week, starting next week, I say Nicholas H, and you can't stop me. So I say, we're going to do a little segment called Whack Cam right here on On The yes. Mat. And you know what? It's going to be choice bits out of my entire history of wrestling. I was going through the book, and there's actually a tape. I think it's tape 58. And it just says, I'm reading everything that's in there, and it says, Ripping on Trevor Blanchard. And it's from the PWI days, so I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, but, here we go. But, <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is the gold mine. Maybe it's, maybe it's Eric Priest it, it, training in the bump factory. Maybe it's CM Punk with a first person shot as he throws a chair at my head. I don't know, but it's a veritable gold mine of videotapes right here. And a piece of gum. And a piece, and a piece of, of gum. gum. <laughs> Anyways, you know what? Why don't we bring Kevin and Pat on out here from uh, Rumble Radio, WXAV88. WXAV. 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 Commit it to your Thank cerebral you. cortex. And this is... Uh, this is Pat here. Hello. I am Pat. Uh, <laughs> really? It's Pat. Hello. Hello. The movie. Oh, wow. The movie. Look at that. You, you guys have the slickest graphic we've ever seen. Is that yours? Oh. Did you guys... No, th that's actually our color scheme. We do use the blue and the, 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 like, the light gray color scheme. Wow. It's really nice, though. Wow. Cool. Production doing their homework here at On The Mat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good yeah. to see you guys. Good to meet Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Thank you for having us. Wow. Thank you. Mean grip, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, merely, it's merely for show, though. There you go. Well, anyways, um, we're going to wind up going to our uh, first match, Ringside Pro Wrestling, uh, from Medina, Illinois, back on July 21st of 07. You know, it rhymes Acid with ja Medina, don't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Acid Jazz versus yeah. Marche Rocket. So we got uh, just a little bit of time left. Um, how long have you guys been doing a radio show, real quick? Uh, I got bored with just doing, like, Here's Another Ramon song type bit, like, blah, blah, blah. Here's the Ramones. Here's the Ramones. Blah, blah, blah. Here's some public service announcements. And I wanted to really do a show about the things I really cared about, which was wrestling. And I really, really loved wrestling. And I thought Chicago's a huge wrestling town. And I remember a couple years before hearing a show on, I think, ESPN or The Score. And it was... Jonathan about, Hood? Yeah, Jonathan, Jonathan Hood's uh, Russell, Russell Maniacs. Yeah. And then I was listening to these shows on the internet that were like podcasts by a bunch of... You know, zit-faced nerds who didn't know how to tell jokes and stuff like that. Well, what are we? 
We're just sitting face nerds that uh, you want to tell some jokes. And they're on the air. And they're on the and yeah. we're on the air. Broadcast. Uh, but but we, we, uh, we were radio guys. You know, we, right. we, were, we were like radio students at college, and we were like, we can do a show about that and have it be really funny and really on the ball. And that's that's what I think our show is. We're wow. Like, we're like a sports can I talk can show I go to your thing. show instead? Can I just turn you know, myself let, out let's of Let's go to this match right here, Ringside Pro Wrestling. Anthony Jazz taking on Marche Rocket. The Rocket. Oh, and look at who it oh, all. Oh, who referee ref Nicholas H. Nicholas Q, right? Nicholas Q. <laughs> yeah. Nicholas Q. Uh, uh, there is no commentary on it. Well, right? There's no sound. Well, you oh, just are mad the... enough as it is. Yeah, right? Nicholas H. He's he's been mad all day, dude. It, it, like he needs another smoke. Did we <laughs> do it? No. Okay. No, I don't know. He came in and he was throwing stuff around, like he was throwing all his, his little binders and his files and all the notes for the show. And couldn't find a, a and, stopwatch. But I will say this. I will say this. I was making mention of Pow earlier, and I saw him actually. Oh, dude. I saw. Oh, yeah. There. He, he winced in agony and anger. He made us wait in the bathroom. Really? Yeah. Oh my Not God. in the green room. No. Oh, the bathroom. Oh. Well, and there's just. Well, there's. He let you wear clothes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It wasn't a typical Nicolay. You got station. clothes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, man. But yeah, he's he's all irate. So I don't know what's going on. But we'll find out, I guess. Hopefully. All right, Anson Jazz there, uh, trying to work out of the armbar. Marche Rocket and does does get the reversal. Quick arm drag. Both guys back up their feet. Japanese arm drag. Leg line to the jaw, and Marche, Whoa. her and Karana, ooh, kind of lost him a little bit, Hurricane. slides out. Hurricane. And Nicholas H is lost like he always is. Oh. Look at that kid. Oh. He's going nuts. What's going yeah. on? Look, check out Too the close. lights they've got going on here. Did that kid, like, slap him to the back of his head? <laughs> yeah, there was Get this, up, you jabroni. Might have. <laughs> there was all this talk on the message boards, uh, the, the debate uh, in, in, for indie wrestling. Guardrails versus no guardrails. And I think it's a no-brainer. I think you've got to have guardrails. Got to have you just you gotta, punk just, kids. Like, that, look at the yeah. sign. Gotta you know what the, the lights look like, though? You ever see, you know... Close it, Encounters it, of the Well, Burkhead. no, no. Well, that and if they were red, it would be like a railroad crossing. Yeah, very, very distracting. I wouldn't, yeah. want, I wouldn't want to be in a yeah, ring. The with commissioner that. of this promotion, I believe, that night was actually Steven Spielberg, just for one night. <laughs> <laughs> Suplex in. Whoop! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Boom. Went for a neck breaker. Kind of lost him a little bit. So, like, I envy you guys because you get to do, you, you like you said, you have your love of wrestling. Two count. And then yeah. you just get to do a radio show about it. Yeah. And and that's the best. I mean, how long is your show? Uh, our show's a two-hour show. Two hours. Could you wow. imagine us trying to go two hours? Oh my God! God, I don't know. Uh, we, we barely get to two hours every week. Really? It's it's a struggle, you know. Yeah. A lot of stuff on the spot, and you know, that's, prank phone calls help a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's you guys might at least have it planned out a little better. We don't even know what's going on when we walk in here. No. Sharpies and computer paper. Uh, yeah. uh, what's that? <laughs> Sharpies. Boom. Big leg. On to uh, Marche, Acid, Jazz Acid Jazz from Marche Rocket. Oh, he's so cocky. So uh, what uh, what indie feds do you guys actually get to go out to uh, and check out? We're, uh, locally, I know I know watching on the mat, you get to learn about a whole bunch of new ones, but there was one that I saw before on uh, the mat started and I got into it was actually, no, excuse me, when I started seeing it on the mat was AEW out of Berlin. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think AEW, uh, uh, you can quote me on the show, I just think they're the best. In yeah. Terms, in terms of the city, they have... They have the most uh, wide-ranging appeal. I mean, you can go see one promotion, you get like a certain style, and that's their main thing. And then you go see another promotion, and that's all they can do. And then, I, like right now, there's like there's a lucha promotion in town. That yeah. All they do is lucha, but with um, AAW, you get like everything. I really like that. Absolutely, AAW for the win. Currently for the win. It's it's such a struggle here. What, with what these other Chicago promotions wrestling. have you have you seen besides AAW uh, that you've actually gone gone to? Local? Yeah, uh, obviously. Uh, ROH is big in town. Every month, they're, every couple months, they're in town. We're always there, and we, we have a nice relationship in our show. We always have a big Ring of Honor star on the week of the show. Uh, AAW guys are on our show, and if and if you're running a local promotion, and you're watching our show. We're happy to have wrestlers on and, and talk about it. We spend we spend a lot of time on our radio show talking about Chicago independent wrestling. Anson Jazz going for the sunset flip, a kick to the back, another one lower back, trying to get him down. Nicholas H too late for the count. Gets a two count on uh, Marche Rocket. Yeah, what is that sh that blast of light that's going off over there? Uh, that's that'd be very distracting. It's like me. 
They're calling Nicholas H. home. <laughs> it's the Kmart blue, <laughs> blue light <laughs> special. <laughs> if you want some more information on this fine promotion, they have a MySpace page, myspace.com forward slash ringside sports, ringside pro wrestling. It's spelled and it, it, we are getting confirmation that it's spelled correctly. Unlike Nicholas H.'s name on his own YouTube account. <laughs> You want to watch On the Mat on YouTube, go to Nichols H. <laughs> true, very true. Although I, I shouldn't. I'm messing with, the, with an angry lion right now. He does seem mad. He, is it is that he like time, this is all that the time? Is that time in a month for him? What is, what is he, what's, he said he had some footage that we're going to be Aunt looking Flo at. Is Ant Flo in town? <laughs> Ant Flo. Might be. Oh. <laughs> it might, might be his time. You um, never know. Let, let, let it be known that I wish I could wear some flashy latex pants, like like uh, I believe the wrestler in the ring. Um, but I just found out last week when I went to my grandpa's uh, retirement party that those are not socially acceptable. Oh. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Do couple of kicks. Are, couple of kicks by Durags are completely jazz. cool though. You can wear a do rag anywhere. Not at funerals. Not at funerals. No. Unless it's a rapper's funeral. Unless it's a black yeah, do-rag. That's, that's right. That's right. And it works. You can't it's wear a morning, morning do-rag. You can't wear like a light blue do-rag. <laughs> morning do-rag. <laughs> morning do-rag. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Anson Jazz hits a rope. Ooh! Ooh. Lowe's line by Marche. And down goes Anson Jazz. Nicholas H. fixing his hair and he's looking right at the camera. I don't know why he's not counting. He just nodded Jazz. to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he nodded to the camera. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah, they got that, Nick. Did you get that? Did you get the three count? Uh, hey, I, Nick, did you get paid for this show or what? You shouldn't have. God, I wonder how many titles could have changed Why the is hands. he looking outside the ring? You're the ref. Yeah, he's, he's like, make sure. To, he was giving somebody a kiss or he's something. He's like, tell, <laughs> tell him there's a blank tape in the, uh, in the bag. Or he we said, meet me, meet me at my car. We'll go have a cigarette. Yeah, he just, Nicholas H. <laughs> just wants to smoke right now. Look at him staring. What? <laughs> Acid jazz, ring the bell. I somehow cut my jugular out. Nick, what? Did you say something about Newports? What? Oh, a stiff kick to the top of the head of Acid Jazz. To the top of the do rag of Acid Jazz. Do you think the do rag? ninety-eight. Would you think the do rag gave him like an extra advantage? Does it protect his head? No, apparently it doesn't. If it was if this was a role playing game, you would add one hit point to Acid Jazz for the belly to back suplex. Well, well, it looks like he's about to come off anyway. Well, Billy Wack, this is not Eddie LARPing at all. No. This is this is this oh, is professional yeah. wrestling. Oh, right. That, that, well, of course. Off. The Durag's just about off. One, two. Whoa! I thought maybe the three count would have taken it out. Nicholas H. himself taking the Durag out. How maybe. about it? <laughs> He'd put it in his pocket and keep it. Could be used as a weapon, though. I don't know if that should Choke. be allowed in the ring. I, be I believe the Paul officials have to review that, have to, uh, you know, maybe agree on the ring attire. There should be some stricter regulations for ring attire. Yes. <laughs> Starting tomorrow. All of these wrestlers should per be performing in mute colors. No flashiness. <laughs> we don't need to excite the fans too much either, especially now, if there's no guardrails. Marche Rocket <laughs> trying to get the uh, fans involved in some way. And look, there's Nicholas H. looking back. Turn hey. around do your job, man. Jeez. Jeez. He could have been stabbing him with a pen, and Nicholas H. was looking right at the camera. Or had a fork like Abdullah the Butcher. Hey, look at that. It's like... Nick is, I think the, the light, look at him, the light is phasing him. It's like Morse code. It's like Morse code, Nick. He, Nick. Looks, he looks like he's like waiting for the Nick. boss instead of like refereeing. Nick. <laughs> Got a good eye on that choke, though. Yes, he does. We have, we have to, wow, that does look brutal. No choke, obviously. Nicholas H. would have yeah, broken it up. I don't know, this is looking pretty bad. This could be the end of Acid Jazz. We've seen Acid Jazz time and time again on this show, but... This could be the end. Nichols H checking it out. Still checking. Still checking. <laughs> and the light's still going on and off. <laughs> one. Oh no. No, this is this is terrible. That arm dropped one time. Two. It dropped two. a second time. It, no, I, I hate to say it. If that arm drops a third time, back, then this back, match is a woo! Yeah! Right. That's a chance fighting for his life tonight here on On the Mat. Vince McMahon back on the show? Oh, yeah, yeah. He a little came, bit. He came back there. there for a Take the mic back. I always do that for the arm drops a third. If this arm drops a third time, then this match is uh There you go. Ooh. Stiff forearm to the back. Wow. Shoulder blades there. Look, Nicholas H. thinks he's mopping up the ring. Nicholas H. just showing disrespect to that, that do-rag. Just kicking it. And it's light kick blue. It will leave a footprint. It will. Kick to the, kick to the ribs there by Marche Rocket on Acid Jazz. Backing him off. Throwing him off. Whoa. Oh, going for a, oh. look like a crucifix. Whoa! Oh, 
jams his uh, jaw into oh. his knee, and an Insiguri. Both guys down. Nicholas H. counting one. <laughs> you should we're, we're letting you do it. Yeah. <laughs> we're letting you do it. See, and the light is helping Nicholas H. to keep focused on yeah, this count. Yeah, he keeps looking back at the light. He bounced off the rope. Although, I don't know, that kick was to uh, Marche Rockets' uh, Medulla Oblongata, so I don't know if he's going to be getting up anytime soon. Cutting off blood circulation to the head. Is he at seven, I think? Oh. I believe they have a flashing light on the opposite side oh, of the ring they as do. well. Two blue light specials? Yes. Whoa. Nasson blocks it. Two rights, three rights. Shoots him off. Clothesline. Another one. That's a jet tearing him up tonight, man. Yeah, Ducks Marche's. Ooh! Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh. wow. That puts Lex Luger 1994 to shame. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. My, I can give you a stool sample that would put Lex Luger to shame. <laughs> <laughs> Lex Luger defeated by a stool sample from a fan Whoa, of the Very nice slip by Acid Jazz there. Oh, man. Throws wow, this, this has got to be it. This could be it. No. Only two. Oh. Two count by Nicholas H. Billy, can you do the uh, Vince McMahon one, two? No, no, no. He's got to be. Here we go. One, two. No, no, no. No, but there's a, uh, there's a, uh, oh, out, out at two. Or oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, hold We've got Marche Rocket. Oh! Boom. Suplex. My, my favorite classic Vince McMahon commentary quote is his... Wait a minute. Two. Oh! Kicks out. Is it when he says something about Elizabeth? Because no, that, that was what when, I was... It's when he changes pitches and voice immediately fast. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, he hits a... Now he goes for a suplex! There's one time Saturday Night's main event they had... Uh, they, were, they were showing Miss Elizabeth and uh, McMahon just goes... Oh, my! She nice! He, like, starts... <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Bulldog by Anson Jazz. Two... Two count. And it was like a savage Georgia. Oh, you see, oh, the animal steel. Camera cuts to Elizabeth. Oh, my, she nice. He gets like bestial for like, it's like, oh, dirty Vince. No wonder Savage was so crazy about locking her up in closets and stuff. Like Thumb the eyes. eyes. Where's the ball? Mike line right stage. to the head. Should have been a disqualification. Obviously. One, two, and it's a, three, up, oh, what, what? Oh, Josh, uh, out it, out it, out it, out it too. Look at Nick, he's all, uh, <sighs> Looks blown up. He needs a cigarette. <sighs> Crabby. Marche Rocket. Apparently going to the top. I always love when wrestlers are exhausted, but they still try to like taunt. <laughs> like, like they're like, I'm oh, the, oh, oh the watch best. this. <laughs> Marche climbing to the top rope. Nicholas H counting furiously. Whoa! Oh! I wonder if a wrestler has ever just looked at the referee and went, no, and just stayed up there for five <laughs> seconds and the ref disqualified him. <laughs> It would like be a Steamboat Savage uh, match, and then the I guy just goes I don't want to come down. Yeah. Like a little bit of a tree house. Uh, Jazz, Paul Marche, closer to that corner. Might go up for uh, he might get a lost. moonsault might get or lost something. That, that hypnotic light. Whoa! Lands on wow. his feet. That's some acrobatic He's poised. Ability. Oh, that's He's acid poised. Jazz. I thought it was Marche Rock. I'm sorry. Oh! Kick. Oh. A second one. Third. Caught it. Goes for the Oh! Wow! Oh! oh! That's gonna be it. That's gotta be wow, it. Wow, the crowd's gonna be crowd modified, modified diamond cutter. Fans well, are on their He's feet. gotta go for that pin, man. You gotta be smart. You gotta cover him up when you got that chance. There are two men just writhing on the mat. Is that, is that literal to the show, or are you just writhing. talking about the actual mat? I'm talking, well, the. Yeah, say, right. it over. <laughs> a little of both here, actually. <laughs> I'm not writhing right now. Oh, I'm you wait. Give it. Writhing. What is it? Uh, give it ten minutes. You'll be writhing. <laughs> Billy Wack, I think I got it. Really? Is that how it goes? He's yeah. covering him. He's covering One, him. two. Oh! oh! As the jazz kicks out. out. I believe that's it. Oh. Sort of. Another pin attempt by Marche. Can't keep As the jazz down. Two. Oh, see, see, that's what I want to see. I want to see a, a wrestler go for a three, get a kick out, and like hook the leg the second oh, time. And it then. works. Yeah. yeah, and it works. That's what I want to see. You're supposed to be calling Marche, a wrestling match. A, a very groggy ass of jazz can't even get up. Very groggy. You, Nicholas you H think, needs yeah. the ropes yeah, to hold yeah, on. Oh, I think he's having a heart attack also. <laughs> he's trying to shake off chase. that right arm. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he usually puts his cigarette. 
<laughs> oh, oh throw very kick. nice. Kick to the mix section. Pass the jazz. Hold on to the top whoa, rope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh reverse on. DDT off the rope. Look at this. Bam. Sunset. One, one two, two, three. three. Oh, what a finish. Very nice. Pass the jazz with the win over Marche Rocket. Good. Wow, we don't that was get to see cool. Nicholas H match. anymore. That was good. That was good. Very yeah. good. Match. It actually Sweet. looked like he was like pulling for a cigarette from his pocket at the end of the match. Uh, he might have been. Uh, yeah. bro, he wasn't through the ropes, and there was just a plume of of <laughs> Nicholas H smoke just billowing just, out. I bet he like if there's like pyro like fog at the entrance. He stands there. He like stands within the mo within the entrance way, yeah. still like trying to get like an extra puff of his cigarette. Oh, that was great. I stood there. We <laughs> <laughs> got all that smoke. I don't know why. Like again, I don't know why we're agitating him. We're, do we have some kind of footage? Do we know why Nicholas H is upset? Do we know? Is I, that coming up? Do we know no. this? I think I I'll might have. it this way. Uh -oh. I might have an idea. History in the making was interrupted. History in the making was interrupted. Was interrupted. Was interrupted. Yes, it was. Wow. I, so, what, are you passing a kidney stone or what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I was thinking it was like history in the making was interrupted. Hi, I'm Trevor Blanchard. You're kind of cute. And then, whoa, a tornado takes her away or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. You guys I don't keep know. making your jokes. All right, but yeah, yeah. So Nicholas H is all upset. And are we going to. History in the making was averted. So we're going to find out about this. Is that uh, right? Yes, you will. And. Point known that I am very upset with the uh, commissioner crew of POW Entertainment. Oh, he's yeah, upset yeah, with I, POW! I think it's something that just happened this past weekend. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. History in the Wow, wow. I'm excited for wah. the footage. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, you have to understand in Rumble Radio when somebody complains, we pull out a gimmick we have on the show. As you know, we're radio guys. We love sound effects. Sure. Uh, but one of our favorite ones, we don't record it. We always have Pat do it. For Nicholas H, we're going to bring out... Pat, come down. We're going to bring out something that's very classic to our show. Pat, right. you ready, buddy? <laughs> a Patrick Creed signature cry. Baby. First time ever uh, on camera that wow. I got to do that. Wow. That a, that's wow. history in the making right there. there you go. Very nice. Speaking hey, of fir first times on camera... List, you know. oh. no. <laughs> All right, what do we got next, Trevor? What's going on? Coming up next, uh, actually, it's going to be... Pow Entertainment yeah, pow. From, this, from this past Saturday, yeah, August 4th of 07. <laughs> pow. Are, you, are you ready? I, I, We're gonna I take hope, if, we'll give you a couple seconds to get, get your VCR set. Your you're VCR. Probably gonna wanna, Look at the you're graphic. You're probably going to want to yeah, see it. Eric Friedman versus <laughs> Nicholas H. What? Versus. Oh, now, here, wow. now, here's the thing. There was a monitor outside a locker room. A giant lizard? Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> didn't, didn't see the match. Okay. But... Uh, he oh, came he, back, his chest was all red. I was, I was what, snickering a little let's, bit. Let's go to the footage here. We will in a minute. Oh. Yet. Oh, all right. He's busy smoking back there. He's not ready. Uh, Anyways, let's forget about Nicholas H. Wow. For a little bit. Oh, talk if, about, if only I could. Talk, talk about the, uh, uh, the radio show. Uh, as far as guests that you've had on that the people will know, whether they're from the Chicago area, as far as independent, or name stars that have been with WCW, ECW, or... WWE currently. You know, I hate to drop a couple of names, you know, but uh, okay, man. <laughs> uh, we had a three-hour spectacular that had Colt Cabana live oh. in studio. That was at one of the funniest times of my entire life. Yeah. We were, had the honor of having Mick Foley, Nigel McGuinness, and Ted DiBiase all on the same Ted show. Ted DiBiase? Wow! Now, were those dollars, guys man. in studio or on the no. phone? No, we get them on the phone. We've okay. had Colt in studio. And, and we, uh, we've had AAW's uh, own uh, Jason Rain and Danny Daniels yeah. in studio as well. Eric Priest has been on the show. Uh, and, uh, Tyler Black was just recently on the show. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. Billy, you're coming on the show? I, I, I would be glad to come on the show. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And Richard yeah, T. I'm, I'm excited. Richard yeah. T. Richard T. Might, I believe Richard T. might come down. Richard with the T. Man, shoe the full gimmick. Yeah. I'm excited. I was, I was looking forward to meeting you guys, Richard do you T. Do you guys have room for a trailer so that Nick can show up too? Or the one and only answer to that Ooh, question we is can't, no. We can't smoke in the studio. So. Oh, okay. Sorry, Nick. You can't go, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> and where, where's, where's the studio We're at? We're number one, too. The studio's on the south side. Okay, south side. South side. South side. Awesome. Uh, you can listen online, wxav.com. And if you go to our MySpace page, which is myspace.com backslash rumble radio, we have all the information about there. We're on Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights. 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, also, our show is podcasted. So if you missed the show, or if you missed the show with the infamous Billy Wack, you can download it that awesome. week. Awesome. So it's, uh, and we also have live call ins and all types of fun oh, stuff. Oh, cool, cool. Because yeah. I'll not, start not, calling, I'll start calling in from here. <laughs> It'll be like this Marvel DC <laughs> crossover. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, had I had get a, to be Spider Man. Now, I had, right, a, now I had a question for you. Do you uh, if somebody goes to the website, 
are they able to go back? You have archives of oh, yeah. past we, shows because I know with us taping this, mm -hmm. um, the guys are going to be going there next week. Mm -hmm. So by the time this airs, they won't be able to hear it. But if they want to go back, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we just launched our brand new official website along with our MySpace website, which is Rumble Radio Online. Dot com. Okay. Hopefully it'll he'll, be he'll put that up. It'll be you there. know what? Um, Nick this gave us the tornado tornado DDT. Let's go to powentertainment.com. Pow! Uh, Nick Pow! Uh, Eric Freedom. <laughs> Nicholas. Wow, here we go. Nicholas H Eric. September 22nd in Elk Grove Village. We have to take on American History next. Oh my goodness. Steve Stone and Hardcore Craig, the two biggest ball headed numbskulls in professional wrestling today. All right. That's right, but that's right, we're going to take care of it. But you know what? It's a big night tonight, and you people are going to win this history in the making. You guys are right. You guys are going to win this history in the making tonight. I am going to show you guys that I am the only manager that is capable of wrestling. So to build myself up for the Battle Royal, I want some schmuck to come walking through that door, put it on the line, and say, hey, look, I am willing to be the fighting manager and champion that I could be. champion in there with Nicholas H one on one my goodness I don't think Nick H is gonna fare too well the uh, he claims to be the only manager who can wrestle well I don't know uh, gee who won match of the year last year Rick well let's look at it huh Master well, Jay thank you very much well look at Nicholas H how can he be a wrestler he's so damn skinny I thought that he has to dance in a shower to get wet that's not very nice but uh you well, think, what do you want me to do? Pat him on the back and build him up and take all the glory from you? You think he showers regularly, though? Well, look at him. I mean, no offense to him, because we're both uh, great moguls in the uh, televised wrestling market look, these days. Look at that stupid hair he's got. What's wrong with long hair? Look at Freedom's hair. That's Looks good like hair. clean a toilet with. Oh. Oh. You're nasty. No, nasty his hair is nasty. <laughs> Down goes the hate seed hillbilly. 
Oh, look at this. Freedom outsmarting him, outwitting him. <laughs> oh, that was great stuff by Freedom. Adam Evans out there to console Nicholas H, who's being thrown for a loop here. No pun intended. Anything you say is a pun. Don't worry, I'll get back at your master, Jay. You know me, I've got yeah. a thousand sayings. Yeah, no offense to Nicholas H, but I don't think he stands much of a chance at all in here. Well, I don't think he's going to stand much of a chance at all anywhere. Look at him. I think those are his lucky jeans, though, Mr. Riccolo. Looks like he stole those from Chris Cairo. No, they're too long. Shoulder tackle nicely done. Oh, Nicholas H is going to fake him out, too. Look at this. Oh, you got to be quiet. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I love it. No way. Eric Freedom not being intimidated at all by the Hayseed Hill Billy himself, Nicholas H. Shut up right there. Why do you call him a Hayseed Hill Billy? What does that mean? Master J is calling you a sausage. You're the master. Figure it out. Please. Freedom looking for an elbow, asking for crowd approval. Takes him over. Freedom going to drop the leg here. Again, asking the fans if they want to see it. Dropping that leg right in that rubber band arm of Nicholas H. Rubber band. He's loving, he's loving fruit loops, huh? Oh, there we go. Nicholas H is putting the fight to him now. You just wonder what Adam Evans is going to do if he's going to jump in a ring and charge in a ring. He's just there for moral sport, Rickola. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, look at him. You see what I'm saying? He's talking about freedom. Turn around there, Pee Wee. See, Pee Wee's sporting a new haircut. Is he really? Oh! Irish whip in the corner here. Freedom charging in. Oh, Ace moves all the way. Going first into the middle turnbuckle. That's not going to feel good. Freedom kind of uh, gave himself the Crunch Berries, didn't he? The Crunch Berries. Oh, we haven't seen that in a long time. I think I felt that once. Uh, it's not a very pleasant maneuver. Nick is getting in the face of uh, Huey Perella here. Oh, elbow right to the head, choking him now. Adam Evans, uh, we have to be very helpful here when we start for Nick H. Mr. On the Mat. Yeah, well, forget him. He did offer me a contract, but uh, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm not. You know, Master J, never yeah, mind. Save it. I'm going to save it. Save it for the TV show. Oh, close line from Nick H. He's putting up quite a fight here, Riccolo. Why did he want to come up with that? He's going for the pin. I didn't know he could wrestle. You know what? I'm going to classify Nicholas H, along with you and what? Scott Spain, as another big idiot. Come on. You call it an idiot? He's tying down one of the great uh, performers in this area, Electric Eric Freedom, a former world champion, and Nicholas H has him down on the mat. What surprises me, though, with Eric Freedom in the ring, you know, I'm surprised that Jimmy Blaze has a good time over here and shook his hand and let bygones be bygones and say, hey, welcome back. You don't see that. Maybe Blaze is just scared. Well, we heard Blaze in the ring one month ago here in Fox Lake saying that apparently things were fine between the two former Psychedelic Incorporated members, but we will see in time. Last time we saw Freedom here in town, he turned on Jimmy Blaze. But uh, right now, Freedom back in the favor of the fans and not in a very favorable position. Oh, Nick H missing. 
He missed the big fist. Go ahead and look at that. Now his hands are. How's how he gonna pick his nose? Oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> Hammering away on freedom, freedom not feeling it. Oh! Irish whip, off the road, big elbow. Eric Freedom, oh no! Don't tell me it's the Crunch Berries, not a get no! Oh! Crunch Berries! No. Crunch Berries by Freedom! Go for the pit! Oh! That's the big one, Riccolo. Oh, Let's see if he can execute it. There should be no problem with the Hasty boy. Oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, he gets him into the ropes. Adam Evans there. Oh, oh no! John Jones Evans! Make it a oh, kick. Hippie, hippie, shake. It's over. It's got to be over. 